Imagine being confined in a place far away from home, where freedom is but a distant memory. This was the grim reality for countless prisoners of war during the Second World War, their lives marked by the iron grip of their captors. These POW camps, scattered across Europe, were places of harsh conditions and relentless surveillance. The air was thick with tension, the ground underfoot a constant reminder of captivity. Yet, beneath the oppressive environment, a spark of defiance flickered in the hearts of the prisoners, their longing for freedom was matched only by their unyielding spirit, their resilience a testament to the indomitable human will. Each day, they woke up to the same barbed wire fences, the same watchful eyes, the same crushing monotony, but they refused to let their spirits be shackled. In the face of such adversity an audacious plan began to form. In the midst of despair, a daring plot was hatched. Amidst the grim reality of the POW camp, a beacon of hope sparked. A group of prisoners bound by a shared determination to reclaim their freedom, conceived an audacious plan. These men, hailing from different backgrounds and possessing diverse skill sets, pooled their resources and intelligence. They conducted secret meetings under the very noses of their captors, often using coded language and signs to communicate their plans. These were not merely casual chats, rather they were strategic sessions where every minute detail was discussed, debated, and dissected. The cornerstone of their strategy was the construction of tunnels. With limited tools at their disposal, they had to be resourceful. They used spoons, discarded metal scraps, and their bare hands to dig. The tunnels were not just pathways to freedom, they were meticulously engineered structures, complete with wooden supports and ventilation shafts. The prisoners also devised ingenious ways to dispose of the excavated soil. They crafted makeshift pouches hidden inside their trouser legs, which allowed them to discreetly scatter the soil during their daily routines. This was not just a testament to their creativity but also their courage, as discovery would have meant severe punishment or worse. Equally impressive was their ability to deceive their captors. They created dummy heads to place in their beds during roll call, giving the illusion of a full camp while they were busy digging. They forged documents and crafted civilian clothes, preparing for life on the run after their escape. But their plan was not just about the physical aspects of escape, it was also a psychological battle. They had to maintain morale, keep hope alive, and manage fear and anxiety. They had to convince themselves every day that their freedom was worth the risk, that their plan could succeed against all odds. In the face of adversity, the prisoners demonstrated an extraordinary level of resilience, creativity, and courage. Their meticulous planning, executed under the most challenging conditions, was a testament to the indomitable spirit of man. Against all odds, the stage was set for one of the most daring escapes in history. Their ingenious plan, hatched in the shadows of despair, was about to unfold into an unforgettable chapter of human resilience. The night was dark and fraught with danger but it was now or never. The stakes were high, the air was thick with tension, the perfect setting for what would go down in history as the most daring POW breakout. The first man crawled into the tunnel, heart pounding against his chest. The tunnel was narrow, claustrophobic, and it seemed to stretch on forever into the abyss. But this was a journey from captivity to freedom. Each inch crawled was a step towards liberty. One by one the prisoners followed suit, disappearing into the darkness of the tunnel. They were a chain of hope, fear, and determination, each man closely linked to the next by the shared dream of escape. Time was of the essence, and they moved stealthily but quickly, their senses heightened in the quiet of the night. There were obstacles of course. The tunnel, though ingeniously constructed was not without its flaws. Parts of it threatened to cave in, the sounds of crunching dirt and shifting rocks echoing ominously in the confined space. The fear of being caught was a constant companion, every whisper of wind or distant sound magnified tenfold in their heightened state of alertness. And then, there were the close calls. The guard who decided to take an unscheduled patrol, his torchlight sweeping dangerously close to the tunnel's entrance. The sudden bark of a guard dog that spiked adrenaline levels and nearly caused a panic, but each time luck or perhaps fate was on their side. The last man emerged from the tunnel blinking into the darkness. They were out, they were free, but the night was far from over. Now came the sprint towards freedom, a desperate dash across the open ground, hearts pounding, breaths ragged. The thrill of the escape was palpable. They were no longer prisoners, no longer numbers. They were men once more, men who had dared to defy their captors, men who had reclaimed their freedom. Each step taken was a victory, each breath of the cool night air a celebration of life. 
but as the last man disappeared into the night, the true gravity of their situation became apparent. They had escaped the camp, but they were still deep within enemy territory. 76 men had tasted freedom, but the most dangerous part of their journey was just beginning. The great escape was not just a physical journey, but a testament to the indomitable human spirit. It was a story of resilience, of courage, of tenacity in the face of adversity. It was a story that would be told and retold, seared into the annals of history, a beacon of hope and inspiration for future generations, for as long as there is oppression there will always be those who dare to resist, to fight, to escape. Freedom was short-lived for many, as the largest manhunt in history was underway. Imagine a world descending into chaos, as law enforcement, military personnel and local civilians scoured the land, searching high and low for the daring escapees. For some, the taste of freedom was brief, the price of liberty too steep. The aftermath of the escape was a whirlwind of activity. Fifty of the escapees, recaptured and unceremoniously returned to enemy hands, met a fate far grimmer than the confines of their prison. Executed on orders from above, their dreams of freedom were extinguished, their lives cut short in the cruelest of ways. Yet their sacrifice was not in vain. For those who successfully evaded capture, the journey was far from over. They navigated treacherous terrains, relied on the kindness of strangers, and used their wit and resourcefulness to stay one step ahead of their pursuers. Some sought refuge in neutral countries while others joined partisan groups contributing to the resistance. Back at the camp, the Great Escape had a profound impact on morale. Despite the dire consequences the audacious breakout sparked a flame of hope amongst the prisoners left behind. It was a testament to the indomitable human spirit, a beacon of resilience in the face of adversity. The escapees may have been physically recaptured, but their spirit of resistance was never truly confined. The guards on the other hand, found themselves facing harsh criticism and scrutiny. The security was tightened, the rules more stringent, the punishments more severe. Yet the seeds of rebellion had been sown, the belief in freedom had been reignited. The escape had rattled the cage, shaken the foundations of the prisoner of war camp. In the grand scheme of the war the great escape was but a blip, a fleeting moment of defiance. Yet its impact was far-reaching, its reverberations felt long after the war had ended. The audacious breakout and its aftermath served as a stark reminder of the human capacity for courage, resilience, and the unyielding pursuit of freedom. Despite the tragic outcome the Great Escape had left an indelible mark. The Great Escape was more than a daring breakout, it was a testament to the human spirit. This extraordinary act of defiance and resilience has left an indelible mark on our collective memory, rippling through the tides of popular culture and military strategy alike. Its retelling in countless books and films, most notably the star-studded 1963 classic, The Great Escape, has ensured that these brave men's story continues to inspire and captivate. Each portrayal serves as a poignant reminder of the audacity, resourcefulness, and unyielding spirit that defined their epic journey to freedom. Beyond the silver screen, The Great Escape has also shaped modern military strategy. It stands as a powerful testament to the potential of well-coordinated strategic defiance even under the most dire of circumstances. In our collective memory, The Great Escape is more than a tale of audacious breakout. It's a narrative of human resilience, a story that continues to resonate and inspire. The Great Escape remains a powerful symbol of resilience, courage, and the enduring desire for freedom. Opening. In the face of adversity, the human spirit reveals its true strength. As we journey back from the tumultuous era of World War II and the harrowing tale of the Great Escape, we find ourselves standing at the precipice of reflection. We've traveled through time, through the grim reality of life in a POW camp, witnessed the ingenious plan of the escape, lived the tension of the daring breakout, and experienced the aftermath and the legacy it left behind. Now it's time to reflect on the incredible courage and determination demonstrated by these prisoners of war. In the confines of the Stalag Luft III, amidst the stark and unforgiving circumstances, a group of POWs dared to dream the impossible. They dared to envision a world beyond the barbed wire fences and the watchful eyes of their captors. They dared to see freedom, and in this daring, they found the strength to chart a course towards their dream, towards freedom. The Great Escape was not born out of a moment's whim or a day's planning. It was a product of meticulous strategizing, relentless dedication, and unwavering courage. 
It was a testament to the indomitable human spirit that refuses to be shackled or silenced. The prisoners were not merely planning an escape, they were planning a statement, a bold declaration of their resolve to be free. They knew the risks involved, they were aware of the potential consequences. Yet they chose to go forward, driven by a profound belief in their cause, and a deep-seated desire for freedom. Their courage was not a fiery blaze, but a steady flame that burned bright against the darkness, illuminating their path towards liberation. The actual escape was a feat of extraordinary bravery and resilience. The prisoners with their hearts pounding and their spirits unyielding, embarked on a journey fraught with uncertainty and danger. Each step they took was a step towards uncertainty but also a step towards hope. And it was this hope, this unwavering belief in the possibility of freedom that fueled their daring endeavor. The aftermath of the escape was a testament to the indomitable spirit of these brave souls. Despite the intense manhunt and the grim fate that awaited many of them, their courage remained undiminished. Their escape had ignited a spark of hope that could not be extinguished. They had demonstrated that even in the face of overwhelming odds, the human spirit could rise, could fight, and could triumph. The legacy of the great escape lives on, not just in the annals of history, but in the hearts and minds of people around the globe. It stands as a testament to the courage of those who dare to dream, dare to fight, and dare to break free. It serves as a reminder of the indomitable spirit of humanity that refuses to be defeated, even in the face of insurmountable odds. The Great Escape also serves as a potent symbol of resistance and resilience. It is a beacon of hope that shines through the darkest of times, reminding us that we too can overcome adversity. It teaches us that courage is not just about facing fear, but about moving forward despite it. It shows us that even when we are shackled by circumstances, we can still dream, we can still fight, and we can still break free. So, as we reflect on the story of the great escape, let us not just remember the daring breakout or the ingenious plan. Let's remember the spirit that fueled it. Let's remember the courage that drove it. Let's remember the resilience that sustained it. Let's remember the hope that ignited it. Engage further with the history of World War II. Delve deeper into the stories of courage and resilience that define this era. Explore the tales of human spirit triumphing over adversity, for in these stories we find inspiration. In these stories we discover the strength of the human spirit. In these stories we learn the true meaning of freedom. Ending. Remember the great escape, for it teaches us that even in the darkest hours the flame of freedom never dies.